So how did I approach solving the problem, as I mentioned, right? So try to think kind of like me, right? I want to troubleshoot something, I want to solve the problem. So obviously always a good place to start is Google, right? So first I tried finding the owner's manual um, for this laptop. I didn't find the answer. So I tried um, approaching it in a different way. I tapped into Google, what do Dell latitude symbols mean? And as you remember, well, you're probably gonna notice it with time if you work on Dell laptops. Um, These symbols that we just saw when we were troubleshooting, they kind of gonna be the same, right? You're gonna see them on Dell laptops. So I believe I clicked, I clicked on this link because I don't really care if it's latitude E7440, which we're working on, or if it's another laptop. Um, yeah, let's just use this guide. It's gonna give us a very good insight into what computer is doing and thinking, right? So uh, here we can see, right? Here are those symbols that were concerning us. First, the power light, right? So that power light is this over here when we're plugging in the power cord. So it's supposed to respond. And as you remember, like our computer does turn on uh, like the power button as well as this symbol temporarily, right? Just for a second or something, and then it turns off. So next thing, this is the storage, as I said. Second thing, hard drive activity light. Hard drive activity indicator, blinking white when the laptop reads or writes data, right? Ours weren't blinking, as you remember. It was on, but it wasn't blinking. It was steady. It was steady the whole time. Third thing, this, the battery indicator, right? It was blinking, as you remember. So here it says battery light. Um, so solid white option, off option, and blinking amber. This is our case. Battery power is less than 10% and not receiving charge. Okay, so uh, we could assume that there might be the problem with the power, all right, with computer receiving power, but um, considering that it turns on every time, right, it does turn on temporarily, we know that. Um, we also notice that, okay, remember the fans are turning on, so the, the power on button, right, the power on button turns on for a second. We hear the fans, so what is that telling us? Interesting thing is because CPU connects to the fans through the heat shrink, which is like a long metal thing usually, right? It can be um, yellowish, kind of copperish type of color, or it can be black, like covered in plastic, whatever, right? But they're connected. So uh, actually the heat shrink, that long tube, uh, it's basically like transferring heat from CPU, which trying to get rid of it. And a uh, fan is kind of helping out with that. So we know that because the fan comes on, that CPU is working, at least it's trying to work, right? It's trying to process something. But if we go down here, right, this is a more thorough explanation of our problem. So let's look over here at the storage, which is continuing to stay steady the whole time. It says it's solid, right? And what can that solid thing mean? The memory modules are detected, but have encountered an error. So that is our case, right? So um, it's not blinking because it's not reading data. It's remaining solid because uh, yeah, it's realizing that it's supposed to work, but it, it encounters an error because we don't have any hard drive. In fact, we don't have any drive. We, we don't even have RAM as a bare minimum, right? So um, we know that 
the cell battery, which I said told you like before, it is actually working fine because it's trying to. Um, it actually gives that initial boost for the computer to um, try power on, right? But so that kind of like eliminates that the cell battery is bad. We know that cell battery is good. We also know that fans are good. We also know that CPU is good. What other components could be the problem, right? We know that obviously the hard drive is missing. So um, that could be the problem. We also know that RAM is missing. That could be the problem. Um, uh, and power, um, yeah. Let's eliminate power for now because at least initially it is powering on. So yeah, let's dig deeper, figure out what else could be the problem. So hard drive, right? Hard drive is, like I said, for the large files. And RAM is the, like, it's temporary kind of memory, right? So we know that we need to be working on either or, or ideally on both of these problems, because computers actually need both. Both of these memories are important for the computer. So what I did to troubleshoot that is, as you can guess, yes, I got both of the states, right? So I got the hard drive, or actually, yeah, I think I'll use another one. Uh, this, right, um, has 500 gigs, but when I was buying it, uh, the thing about this one is that it does not have Windows on it installed. So remember how I said that uh, hard drives are made for containing um, not just information long term, but it's also large files, right? It's for large files. Uh, so one of the things that the hard drives can contain as well is the Windows installed on it, right? The OS operating system for a computer. You can buy the hard drives already installed with the Windows installed on them. Or you can buy the completely new ones without the Windows on them. It's like up to you. There are other ways to go about it. But um, for this, the latitude, I'm going to use this one. Now look, it's low, it even says that it's made for this laptop, E7440, Windows 10 Pro, 500 gigs, wonderful. It has Windows on it. Um, the only drawback, though, is that it's not fully activated. We're going to have to activate it later on, but at least we will be able to do the basic operations with what we have, right, as Windows on it right now. Um, another thing is this bracket. It's uh, used for securing uh, that drive, the hard drive, uh, to the laptop. And we're also going to be, um, can't find it right now, but we're also going to be using a small uh, core that connects to the hard drive, which I mentioned before. Let me find it. Oh, found it. So this is how it's going to look like, right? So here are the screws for connecting this bracket, attaching it, like securing the hard drive. So this part gonna connect to the hard drive piece, and this is gonna be getting attached to the motherboard. As you remember, there is a spot there that's made specifically, like perfectly for this kind of attachment. So now I guess, uh, oh, what else? Oh, the RAM that I showed you, two blocks of RAM. We're gonna install it. Uh, Let's start with RAM, actually. I'll show you what kind of great difference it already makes when you install just the RAM without even a hard drive yet. Um, just a second. 